Okay, now that we have safe programmed, we're gonna go ahead and flight test safe. So what we're gonna do, take the airplane, you're gonna start off in flight mode one. If you remember flight mode one, all your AS3X gains and safe are turned off, okay? So I'll take the airplane up to a comfortable altitude, fly it in a position. Generally, it's a good idea to be flying it slightly away from yourself, just so it's comfortable. And so, you know, be relaxed, comfortable, and flip to flight mode two. So depending upon what you have programmed, you know, if you have angle demand program, you're gonna move the stick and release the stick and the airplane should follow that stick command. So when I give a stick input, it's gonna roll, for example, and when I release the stick, it'll come back to center. So just confirm that that's working correctly. Do the same thing with the elevator. You know, give it a up command and a down command and be sure that when you release the stick that everything comes back to center. Also with envelope, give a hard over um, aileron command, for example, and take a look. You know, if it was pre-programmed at 60 degrees, so take a look, is it banking roughly six degrees and coming to a stop? So that's just confirming that your safe functions will work. Do the same thing in flight mode three as well. So just confirm that that's all working correctly. And so by the way, the other thing you'll wanna do is let the stick release rapidly and aggressively and see how the airplane returns to center. So if the airplane returns to center and it oscillates, or if it returns to center and it's sluggish, these next steps will help you understand what you can do to get the results you need there. Okay, so in safe settings, if you aggressively release the stick and the airplane bounces, or vice versa, if you release the stick and it comes back to center, it's very sluggish and very soft, you can actually make adjustments to that. While it's generally considered a bit more of a uh, advanced setting, you know, the, the settings that we have already set into it will likely work. Here's some tips on what you can do to adjust that um, aggressiveness on stop. So go to forward programming, go to gyro gains or gyro settings, safe settings, and then safe gains. So flight mode one, You'll notice that there's nothing on screen for obvious reasons. Flight mode two, there's roll and pitch gains. So at the top, of course, it says safe gains. So if you increase this number, you're gonna get a harsher stop. So you're increasing the gain. If you decrease this number, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna make the stops be less aggressive. So, however, we found that the vast majority of aircraft, 35% is a great place to start out. So. Uh, but if you're not satisfied with the stop characteristics when you release the stick or when you give a hard over and it stops, if it oscillates too much or, or not, then here's where you make those adjustments. And by the way, it's important to understand that your AS3X gain settings are not, will not affect the safe stop characteristics that we're talking about. So the uh, gain settings here control the gain when you're in safe mode as AS3X settings control the gain when you're in regular mode.